Hello and good evening and no matter what time you are watching this video it is now the evening because I am about to start my evening skincare routine. Side note how thought out was that intro okay? As a heads up, my skin type is combination. It is mainly dehydrated. It's kind of more oily down the center of my face and then I have random dry patches dotted about. Now the first product I have to show you was a complete game changer for me because it just makes taking off this makeup made face so much easier, I can't even begin to tell you. That is cleansing oils. I've tried quite a few cleansing oils, some don't take off eye makeup all that well, some leave quite an oily film and some are just a bit too oily if that makes sense. But these are the two I love and this is the Nude Perfect Cleansing Oil for Face and Eyes which I have mentioned I think quite a while, it was in a favourites video. And another one I love is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. The Nude one is a bit more of a dry oil so if you're a bit scared of oils then this one would be the one to go for. And the Body Shop has a bit more of a liquidy texture but both are absolutely fantastic and I'm going to use the Body Shop one today. I take maybe around two pumps of this, two pumps of the oil, massage it in to my full made up face, completely dry, rub it into my eyelashes, all around my eyes, it does make me look a bit like a panda, and then take that all around my jawline as well. I then get a muslin cloth, run that under warm water, and then wipe away all the oil and makeup at the same time. It is incredible, it takes a couple of seconds and your makeup is completely, completely gone. If I'm having a no makeup day, and side note, how great are no makeup days, I'll use my Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel to take off all the kind of stuff that's layered on my skin throughout the day. This is, has a really funny texture. It says gel and to me that just kind of makes me think it will be quite stripping but it's not. It's more of a balm that comes in a pump formula with a really light hydrating texture but that also feels quite rich. It's really hard to explain. There's nothing else quite like it. It leaves your skin feeling so nourished and calm so I just massage that all around my face. I tend to avoid it around my eye area and then just wash it off. Next I go in with the toner and I go through this toner at lightning speed. This is the Omuravitsa Queen of Hungry Mist. Actually to be honest I don't really go through it at lightning speed because I've only used half. I use a lot of it but it doesn't seem to disappear, which I quite like. This along with another toner I'll talk about in my morning skincare routine is the only toner I use because it's just absolutely, absolutely brilliant. It hydrates the skin, it kind of soothes and firms and gives your skin a little pick me up at the same time and I even apply this over makeup like I am now because it is just, ugh, oh, it's so so good and it smells Oh, it smells so nice. Definitely my favourite step of the whole, my whole routine is using this toner. There's one step that I don't normally miss in my skincare routine and that is serums, mainly because along with everything else, serums are the one product that I notice a world of difference. And I use quite a rich cream at night, so I like to keep my serum quite light at night. And this is the Vitamin E Moisture Serum from The Body Shop. A little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. It has a really nice, kind of light, cooling gel texture and I think this is the reason why I wake up and my skin looks really, really calm. If you have sensitive skin or skin that gets inflamed or angry easily, this is definitely one to look to because it is so, so incredible. For my moisturiser, I like to use something non fuss does the job, no kind of out there insane claims giving you like a new face, and this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This has quite a thick, rich formula, but I love that feeling at night of applying like a really nice hydrating cream when you're feeling quite tired and droggy. My skin breaks out really easily, so I just want a completely fuss-free moisturiser that kind of balances my skin out, hydrates it at the same time, it feels really nourishing and soothing and this cream fits in exactly with that. This is definitely my favourite nighttime moisturiser because it just does the job and is completely fuss free. If you guys have a favourite nighttime eye cream please let me know because there isn't one I'm completely head over heels in love with like I am with the rest of my routine but right now I'm using the La Roche-Posay Hydrophase Intense. This is a really nice light gel texture so I take a little dollop of that on my ring finger and then dab that around my eyes. Lastly is a step I do every maybe three nights and that is add a little glow back into my pale pale face and um, this is the Omra Vita Glam Glow. Can you tell I like these? I'm like juggling the two. I'm almost out of this one. This is a face fake tan and this is the only fake tan that I've used 
that hasn't interfered with my face in any way. It hasn't broken me out. It hasn't given me weird under the skin lumps. It hasn't given me like an uneven complexion. It hasn't clung to any dry patches and given me like a brown patch where the dry patches, which I found with some fake tans. It is just an all round absolute winner. And I use it on my body as well. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is because it's so foolproof to apply that you really don't need a cotton pad or it's not faffy at all. It's just really, really foolproof to apply. So I just take a dollop of that on my finger. It's like a cream, massage it into my skin. It's not sticky, it doesn't smell of fake tan, it doesn't tint my pillows. If you can't tell enough by this rave, this is just the best thing I have discovered all year. So that concludes my evening skincare routine. Don't forget to stay tuned next week for my morning skincare routine and I have added a little bit of a kind of acne and blemish skincare chat in there at the end as well. I'll leave all the full product names and product links below as well as my Twitter, my Instagram, Facebook, my website which is updated daily and everything I'm wearing in this video. But until next time, bye! Hello, this video is my favourite video to film. This is my roundup of everything I have loved this month. So let's get started.